off-camera, so I might be a little bit high level, but nothing crazy. Um, I just around and did some of the, the local stuff. I have a long memory. Oh, we've still got six hours until I can do that. Okay. Did she just go, I have a long memory? Okay. Don't quite know what I did to annoy her, but I apologise. Now, uh, basically, when we get to this path up here, the first one on the right, we're going right. Going up there, let's get on the Oh, so yeah, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I've really, really been enjoying playing through the Elder Scrolls Online. It's cool. Uh, sometimes it's a bit overwhelming. Um, I will say that for like new players, if you jump in, I uh, think you're giving it a go, it's well worth it. But um, don't worry about stuff until you hit level 50. Get a feel for the game, enjoy the stories, do all that kind of stuff. You can respec, um, you know, if you want to. Um, you can even start a new character if you wanted to. You don't have to min-max from level 1. I'm, I'm not doing it with this character, I'm just, you know, plomping around. <laughs> I don't know that's even a word, plomping. But I am plomping around and, uh, you know, just enjoying it. And once I get to level 50, then you can start going, oh, okay, I need to put more things into this, more things into that. You start getting your champion points, and you start, you know, investing them. So it's, uh, yeah, you know, it's important, I think, to make sure you enjoy the game. And uh, then stuff comes from there, basically. Okay, well, I thought there would be something up here. They're quite grand, but apparently not. We've still got our bow. Um, I do want to get two-handed, but as I said, I haven't got anything that's two-handed, like, to be used two-handed, so... Yeah, I kind of want a couple of axes. I like axes. Um, yeah, like two-handed axes, I think is quite cool. Slicing and dicing. It's kind of a bit more berserkery kind of thing. Oh, there's actually that um, shadow green delve we need to do as well. Uh, bad launch. Just have a look outside first. I have more than I need, so I'll just oh. waste on you. This is Pentrum's house. Interesting. Oh, we just hit level 14 as well, but I... I think he might have triggered from... Preparations complete. My brother and brother, we are ready for to be in rituals and energy shipment to kill with temple. Sister Amber will both of them could use. You've done well. Await my next command. Okay. So I think he's supposed to um, trigger when we leave here, right? But uh, we killed him already. It's fine. So I'm going to level up so it gets off my screen. Thinking to level up a bit more, we will get one of these. We'll get Volley. Put it in for that one for X Punch. There we go. I do want to have Bow as my second weapon and then have Dual Wield as my main, so it's worth us leveling up the Bow while we can. I found with these Reachmen stalking the pass. Decided they'd rather die than talk, so I obliged. They don't look like they're from Ice Reach, but they are wearing the Coven's medallions. Anyway, did you find the lodge? The lodge was empty, but I found a letter for the Breton orders to send the shipment to Kilgreath. Kilgreath? The Temple to Meridia? Why would the Ice Reach Coven target a local Daedra cult? The temple was the target of their ritual. It called forth a supernatural storm. Storms again. I saw 
saw the Coven conjure a massive storm on Ice Reach. What did this storm do to the temple, and how do you know it was supernatural? The survivors said the storms changed the pilgrims and priests into minor husks or feral monsters. Sounds like what they tried to do to the Skald King, but on a massive scale. I'll head back to Solitude and try again to warn High King Svargrim. You go to Kilcreath and see if the Coven left anything behind we can use okay. as proof. Okay, we'll see you at Kilcreath. Um, I don't know if you haven't done Kilcreath, if it slightly changes or something, but we're going to go to the Shadow Green and do the, uh, do the delve up here. The delves are usually uh, pretty cool. Kind of like single player dungeons, I guess. They have a boss, they usually have a sky shard. There's somebody below who's got a quest for us just outside. Splinter, you just couldn't work free. I can attest, they're much worse on the inside. What happened to you? Got into a tangle with a spriggan in the shadow green. I think it wanted to take root in my guts. I'll live, provided I can get off this mountain before it explodes. Friendly word of warning, the mountain's going to explode. Do you mean the mountain's going to explode? I was hired to investigate the odd rumblings beneath the stone. The cause, it turns out, are reachmen working some kind of magic. Stoking the fires of this sleeping mountain. I don't suppose you'd take a cut to put a stop to it? I'll help stop the Reachmen in the Shadow Green. And the Reachmen have some ritual pyres burning around the Shadow Green. Those seem to be the source of the magic that's stirring up the earth. Snuffing them out should disrupt their plans. Right. I thought I pretty well summarized our predicament. Reachmen, pyres. Who hired you? An old wise woman. Her name escapes me. We crossed paths in the swamps to the east. I think she mistook me for someone Where else. Where is the Shadow Green? The heart of this mountain is unseasonably warm and full of temperate caves called the Shadow Green. Then why are they trying to blow it up? Well, if this mountain were to rain ash and oh, lava right. down okay. all around us. Yeah, that would that would be a bad thing for Solitude, wouldn't it? Okay, let's go save the day once more. Shadow Green. I love the art they have on the load screen. It is so nice. Uh, it's really, really nice. I love the art in general. It's really, really cool. For this game. Extinguish the ritual pyres. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Very nice. This reminds me of... Um, oh, what's it called? The, um, where you go with Nettlebane. I can't remember it. Oh. I genuinely can't remember it. Whoops. I pressed the wrong button. I meant to press 5 and I pressed R. <laughs> Never mind. Go down here.
Especially the effects will drop them down, I think. Should be fine. I like the ambience. I don't know about you guys, but I actually quite like the ambience. Today, Sonny with Jim, not today. Yep, nice. It's very pretty.
I've got so much rawhide, it's actually ridiculous. Really do need to get into like crafting. I'll do that colour off camera though, I guess, because uh, I guess I could do a little episode of crafting, how it all works and everything. People are interested in that. Ah, here's the boss. That's a hack rave. Oh god, that's a cool move. Good lie. There we go. How on earth am I still over in cupboard? I do not get it. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's draw it. Good. Sabotans of eternal vigor. I've got my venomous boots. I want to keep that because it's really good. Uh, get rid of that. Need to go and sell some of this stuff, really. I mean, I was just in. Um, I think it was not that. Okay, there's one down here. There it is, I see it. Okay, don't 
use your stamina fill because that's what you use for all your skills. That's not going to do you much good if you're using it all up. sell stuff but yeah what we're gonna do we're gonna go buy some more inventory space might as well use these crowds for something we've got 19,000 of them uh, upgrades inventory buy a couple purchasing this pen because your inventory capacity put five slots on it oh Oh shit. I cannot believe I survived that. It just I just kinda of spat off the edge. Still, it was the quickest way of getting down. It was definitely the quickest way to get down. Ah, oh, there he is. Right. 
Breffelarian. Things seem to have stopped shaking, so I'm making better progress extracting the splinters from my gut. They're all been extinguished, Then my odds of getting ah, off this good. without Finally. being incinerated are looking... I should get back A to the... A decent one-handed weapon. So, and that will give us the... Uh, that will give us the five items, yeah, for the, the set there, which is really good. And then we could put the... Base as an uh, offhand. Go dual wield. Um, and we need to. Oh, sorry. Skill wise, we'll save some points actually, but we'll just switch the. I do want that. We're going to try that one out instead of that one. Um, oh, Boneyard. Discreetly ground. Yeah, we'll try this solid. The boneyard. What does it do? Desecrate the ground at the target location, dealing 5566 five, frost damage over 10 seconds. That seems pretty good. Like an AoE effect. Can be pretty good. Okay, there's a way shrine here. To go back to Kilcreath Temple. So that's cool. Now I can dual wield. Finally. And I've got a full set of armor, although obviously pretty early armor, but uh, it's nice. Are we exactly? Oh, we're right up here. And there's a Highland Giant camp up there. I go to see this giant camp, just discover it because uh, we'll then finish the episode, I think, up after that. To start a new dual wield. Uh, let's go. Oh, okay, that's a bit weird, but... Yeah, we now have the skill line dual wield. Bit somewhere. There it is. Giant and a mammoth. Just want to steal your cheese, sorry. Bye-bye.